Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Karen Hepp from Box 29, and we are so excited to be proud sponsors and partners to help out the Kelly and Dolan Fund. We have an amazing event coming up, and so we have Wendy Grand Daniel from the Kelly and Dolan Fund to talk all about it. First of all, what's the event and what can people do? Okay, well, we have our holiday adoptive family coming up. We're really excited. Every year we help hundreds of families get through the holidays. Um, families will drop off um, different toys and gifts for families at our firehouse in Ambler, the Wissicken Firehouse. And it's just a it's a great it's a great event to help help the families that we're working with. So if we want to drop off stuff, mm -hmm. what time is it gonna be and where's that firehouse enabler? So the firehouse, it's the Wisthagen Firehouse, it's on Race Street in okay, Ambler. Sure. Mm -hmm. And we're there December fifth and sixth in the morning. Starting in the morning until um, later in the day. We'll be there to accept gifts and money and um, gift cards, whatever people want to bring. Are they new unwrapped gifts or yes, they wrapped unwrapped or? new unwrapped um, is, is what we need. Yep. And how many families are we going to help, do, you, do we hope? Well, like last year we helped, I think, 250, 300 families. Yeah, so I think we'll, you know, that's our goal every year to help, you know, as many as we did last year and maybe a few more this year. So what does this do for people? Tell me some of the stories of the people that we are helping with this. So we have families with sick kids anywhere from, um, we have a gunshot wound victim, we have uh, cystic fibrosis, cancer. We're not disease specific. So you can, as long as you have a sick child and you're having financial issues due to your sick child, we will help you with your holidays. So just explain for people, because when you're in a crisis in a situation and you have some all these bad things, like you don't even know the people that want to help you. How do people reach out to get on the list to have toys for their children? Like what do they do? How can they get hooked up with the fund? The social workers in the different area hospitals and other agencies that help children between Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. They, they so they come to you and say, oh, here's a family and we can help them. And what kind of yes. stuff do we do for them and give to them? So anything from you know, toys, bikes, baths, balls, books, I mean everything. Gift cards for the parents so they can buy a nice dinner or buy themselves something. It's everything. Some sponsors even pay a bill for families as well, along with giving them a holiday. Like an electric bill or utility mm -hmm. bill when things get tight at the end of the year. Yeah. We have no money. We want to get stuff for the kids. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that people get to request? Like they're like, I have a 14-year-old. They really just want this. They get to request stuff. The social workers and healthcare professionals will put in a whole wish list of the different things for all the children. So when people come to donate things, can people adopt like a family specifically? Can they say, oh, wow, this is the Richardsons. I want to help this family and make a big difference for them. Yeah, they can tell us, you know, I want a family of four, for example, and we'll send them the wish list. And we try to, you know, encourage them to get as much as they can on the, on the family's wish list, which is really neat. And Danielle works so hard to match those gifts that, that people bring with the family so that everyone gets what they want for the holidays. So before, if I want to come on the 5th and the 6th, should I, can I look on there and see some of the families that are there to see what their wish lists are, to buy them what they need, or do I just show up with something that I think they might want? Yeah, if they could just um, come to us um, with, with something, they can call us. Uh, we'll, we can put up a wish list on the website. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll do that. They can contact me and get a specific family to buy for. They just have to email me at the Dolan Fund. Mm -hmm. Griffith at that Dolan Fund. Uh, Sorry. Dot <laughs> org. Dot org. Do we have any friends out there? Hi. Good Hi. afternoon. Hi. How are you doing? So I, I think I'm just so touched. Tell me, tell our people again the story of Kelly and Dolan and what the difference that this little girl is now making through her fund so many years later, and just for people that you know may see through different channels. Yeah. I, so you know, 40 years ago. Um, uh, Peggy Dolan started the fund when her daughter Kellyanne passed away, unfortunately, um, from a rare form of leukemia. And really, it was through their experience with their daughter at the hospital, getting to know other families who were going through similar crises, and and seeing how difficult um, you know it was to manage their everyday life, you know, let alone you know what was going on in the hospital. And came up with this idea for the fund to help those families that are in crisis, help them you know get the transportation they need to get to the hospital to visit their kid, or paying for the babysitter for their other kids, their well kids, or just to have a, a night out, you know, and, and enjoy and relax. And it, these are the little things that, that we all take for granted that can mean so much to our families that we work with. Um, again, paying a utility bill is a big deal for our families. Um, so just, you know, the, it runs the gamut of things that we can do to help our families. Remind me how many families have been helped over the years? Well, in 40 years, we've helped 27,000 families, which is pretty amazing. Uh, we're on track to serve about 1,500 this year. Peggy thinks it's really important to not be disease specific. Why? 
Uh, well, I, I think because there's, well, I think a lot of reasons, but number one, I think the people who have some of these more rare forms of diseases, there's just not a lot of help out there, um, unfortunately, for them. And it's, it's, those are the people that probably need us the most. Well, it's going to be a great event, and people can check it out online, um, and we're excited to help. And we're going to be there for the Fox 29 people. Yay. So if you come out, you get to um, see our crew and our TV camera and make a big difference and really just help change the holiday season. And it's really the giving season that we're in right now. And that's coming right up after Thanksgiving. Is that going to be – Is that I have to remember my poor month in the calendar. Do we have one more weekend in, thanks, uh, in November before that happens? Yes. So it's not Giving Tuesday, but it's the giving season. So we right. don't give, give what we give, can. Give. Give till it hurts. <laughs> well, but we can help. You know, it's one of those. If we're fortunate to have something where we can do a little extra, um, it's one of those things. I think it's also good. I mean, I've got some kids to show them how nice it is yes. to help other people Absolutely. and how good that feels. Absolutely. And how good it feels year to get something. Year, we have sponsors that come back that actually request families similar to their families, and they all go out together and buy to teach the kids to give back. Mm -hmm. Because I think you feel the connection if you look at someone in their eyeballs and say, that kid's seven like me or the same age, you know, that my, whatever your children may be. Mm -hmm. And then you think, well, gosh, I really, you know, I know how nice it is to get this toy and what that Mm -hmm. means for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're really excited to have you and Fox 29 partnering with us uh, this year. So that'll that'll be great. Well, we love it. I mean, you know, it's one of those things we love to help and anything that we can do because these families could really, you know, you need some joy for the holiday season. So please give what you can. Give a lot. Thank you. We really appreciate it.